In today's video, we will try to show you how to install the MB Media Streaming Server on your Synology NAS. First, you need to log into your Synology NAS, then go to the Package Center and search for MB. You will find two applications. I recommend choosing the first one, as it is the official release. Next, click on Install. The installation process may take some time, depending on your internet speed. Once the download is complete, the installation will begin automatically. Here, you can see that our MB Media Server installation is complete. Now, we will begin the MB setup process. After opening the application, you will first see a welcome screen. Here, you need to set up your preferred language. In the next step, you need to create a user. This user will be designated as the admin user in the future. So, make sure to create a strong and meaningful username and password. The next option will be to set up the media library. However, we will skip this step for now. Later, after setting up our media station, we will configure it in the final step. So for now, we are proceeding without setting it up. The next option is the metadata language. Here, we will keep the default option. However, if you prefer, you can select your preferred language. In this case, I am keeping it as the default. The next option is configuring remote access and enabling automatic port mapping. I am leaving it as it is and proceeding to the next step. Next, we have the Terms of Use section. We will accept it and move on to the next step. At this point, the server installation process is complete. Now, we will create a movies directory, download movies, and see how to list them properly in the MB Media Server. As you can see, I haven't created any libraries yet, so let's move forward and create a library. Now, we will go to File Station and create a new folder on our hard disk. We will name this folder SSD. As you can see, I am setting the folder's permissions to only my user account. This is sufficient because having user permissions allows me to access the folder and directly upload files from my computer. Now, we will create another folder named MB inside the SSD folder. Then we will enable read and write permissions for the MB application from the system internal user settings. Now, we will create two or three new folders inside the MB folder. These folders will be categorized based on language so that we can organize movies accordingly. This will make it easier when selecting libraries during the setup process. Now, we will install the internal download manager inside the MB server. This will allow us to easily import movies into our internal library using the built-in download manager. After opening the download manager, it will ask for a default location. Here, we will select the MB folder as the default. However, whenever we download movies, we will manually select the appropriate folder based on the movie's language to keep everything organized. Now, we will copy a movie link from an external movie server and paste it into our download manager. We will set the destination folder to the one we created for MB and start the download. Once the movie is downloaded, we will check whether it is correctly recognized by our MB Media Server and if it appears properly in the movie library listing. Let's proceed and see how it works. As you can see, we have selected three languages for the three folders we created. We are now specifying which folder will hold movies in which language. This way, we can create a movie list for each language inside our MB server. As you can see now, the movie I downloaded is showing up in the listing, and there are three folders for the three languages. When you download movies, they will be automatically listed in their respective folders. Additionally, the movies will collect their metadata and other relevant information from online sources. I hope you have understood well from our video how to install the MB Media Streaming Server on your Synology NAS. I tried to explain each step clearly and in detail. If anyone has any doubts or confusion, please feel free to mention them in the comments section below this video, and I will do my best to assist you. That's all for today. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and stay tuned with us. Have a good day, and ta-ta!